Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a caterpillar part here today that needs fixed up. So this is a Jay Pater type job, although it's not his. We've got these uh, bucket attaching components off of a loader and the pins have wallered the holes out and it's gotta get rebushed. So I'm gonna take the boring mill and bore some holes through here, get them back true, and make bushings and push this thing back to where it needs to be. Uh, want it to be good on alignment, but I don't think there's anything super ultra precision on this alignment. It doesn't have to match with any other holes, so if it's 10 thousandths off one way or another, it's not gonna make any difference. And since there's no hole to go by to index it, uh, it's all wallered out. I don't know where it was supposed to be anyway, so I'm just going to come up here and put a scratch mark on the side and try and center it the best I can to where it looks like it originally was, and that's where it's going to be. So, I've got my grind done on my tool bit here, and we'll see how that works. This is a, another different cutter than what I've had in here before. This is a smaller bore size, so I had to go down to a smaller bar in order to fit through. And I still want one long enough I can go all the way through and do them both at the same time so I know they're exactly in line and the pin will go in. So I'm going to fire this up and see what we can do.
don't know us a while. So I got my can of metal twin boring bar in there. It's a dual cutter uh, boring tool with a fine adjustment on it. This is good because it eliminates any tool pressure deflection. So I can run that through there and I'll be pretty confident that I'm gonna get a nice true bore all the way through, nice and round. No push off in any direction. Uh, shouldn't have just a few thou to come out of this from whatever 
crush when I pressed it in there, so let's uh, run it through and see how this pin fits. Let's uh, test fit the pin. Guess I should not stand in the way, but uh, got it bushed up nice. It's probably got a thou or two clearance on the outside of it, which is about what it should have. You don't want them super, super tight. Because if any of that stuff gets tweaked, you'll never get the pin out of it. But it's a tighter fit than any of the original ones were, and it's a worn pin. So I uh, don't want to get too tight, or maybe their new pins won't go in it. All right, so I've got that welded up and bored back out to fix that side that was hammered down. Now I'm just going in, got the tool extended, and I'm spot facing the back side of this to make it flat where the material had been rolled over and then where my weld also came through because I was building that back up to make it nice and square and look like new again. So let's go ahead and finish this off. Fixed. Well, got the second bracket in the mill, and it's time to see how this thing does milling. I've been doing all kinds of boring and drilling work with it, so let's see if it'll mill worth anything or if it chatters and goes crazy. This is not the most super rigid piece, probably, since it's just a big flexi plate. But uh, let's go in here and see if we can cut this fancy repair job off here. And, go back in there and weld it up and do it right and make it not look as hacked. So, fire us up and let's go.
Well, there they are, the two repaired cat loader frames. So wind up fixing a total of five holes. Two here, that one, and the two on this one. And you can see how much weld buildup I had to do on that one to get the hole back where it was supposed to be. That's the one I cut the plate off the outside of. You can also maybe tell, I found that, that it's actually got a little bend to it. I think it shows up on camera, but you can see that's bowed in. So. That's where that plate was welded on. We got it rebuilt. Hole cut back in it like it belongs. Looks a little better. A little paint be good as new. You can see on that side there, same thing. Welded up that hole and fixed it too. Looks like I did good on the alignment on these because we've got this space pretty even there so it should be square to each other and the pin out of that one comes over and slides into this one and see it's starting into the hole there the uh, washer's got it won't come in all the way because the weld's hitting so can't stick it any more than that same thing on this one here we're uh, fitting in and the washer's lined up. And this pin down here goes in and out like it should. So I'm satisfied with that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little repair job series of getting these rebushed and welded up and repaired and fixed. Uh, this should be a nice good long repair and last a long time and get these back in service and save a customer a bunch of money too in the process. Uh, from my understanding these pieces are like $1,400 a piece. So we got almost $3,000 worth of material laying here. And it's back as good as it ever was new. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, catch y'all later.